Why does the boomer smile? His contentment angers so many. But why? The vinegar tasters is a classic motif in Eastern religious art. It depicts the three great wise men from the East, Confucius, Buddha, and Lao Tzu, each tasting vinegar from a bowl. Confucius frowns, for the bitterness of the vinegar does not please him. He thinks it should be sweet. Buddha is expressionless, realizing that the bitterness of the vinegar is just a part of life's suffering. Lao Tzu smiles, realizing the vinegar tastes exactly how it should. Confucius is like the bloomer, or the go-getter. He's obsessed with solving problems and advancing his own aims. Buddha is the doomer, life-denying. He realizes life is suffering, and as I described in the doomer video, he has rent the veil of illusions, or maya. Lao Tzu is the boomer, smiling, yes saying, taking pleasure in life as it is. Wu Wei, or do not do, is the divine inaction of Taoist sages. This also tends to be the role of the boomer in memes, as he is essentially disinterested in the problems of the world. Heaven and earth are not humane. They regard all things as straw dogs. The sage is not humane. He regards all people as straw dogs. How heaven and earth are like a bellows. While vacuous, it is never exhausted. When active, it produces even more. Much talk will, of course, come to a dead end. It is better to keep to the center. Chapter 5 of the Tao Te Ching Heavy is the root of light. Stillness is the master of impatience. Thus the wise man travels all day, but does not leave his wagon. Although there are glorious sights, he is relaxed and proper. Why should the lord of ten thousand chariots conduct himself lightly under heaven? Lightness leads to loss of roots. Impatience leads to loss of control. Chapter 26 of the Tao Te Ching Energy. Drink. A lot of comments in the last video were questioning why the boomer has an energy drink, which I shall not name. This is my take. Energy is of primary importance to the Taoist sage. Their vital energy is called qi, which is often mapped to orgon or libido. This fits perfectly as I'm mapping it to Nietzsche's cosmic energy, the kind that I talked about in my video on love. In The Will to Power, Nietzsche describes a monster of energy. William Blake says that energy is delight. These echo the Taoist mentality in a wonderful way. And what better way to show that the boomer, the modern Taoist sage, is devoted to maintaining his own energy than through his energy drink? My comment. This video is primarily a response to the comments on the Doomer video. Some who remained unconvinced that the boomer was in fact enlightened. Uh, this video is meant to essentially differentiate between the spiritual paths of Doomer, Bloomer, and Boomer. Of course, real-life boomers tend to lack enlightenment. They remain deluded by ideology, hedonism, etc. This particular meme represents the pure, uncaring boomer, the ideal boomer. And I'm aware of the vulgarity and silliness of the boomer meme, but to me the important thing is to indicate that there is an unbroken, archetypal chain of symbolism from ancient China to modern America in the form of the wise old man. It's these shared traits of wise old men that can show us exactly why these memes are popular and just how much depth there is to the idea of a collective symbolic language. And as always, remember, memes matter.